What's going on everyone? Marcus Reels here. Today I'm bringing you a 20 minute lower body stretching exercise. Now follow along, work at your own pace. Remember, don't try to force anything. Remember to breathe slowly throughout these drills. We're really going to focus on the hips today. So let's work the hips along with the lower body as well. If you need to take a break, take a break. Other than that, let's get started. All right, everyone. So go ahead and grab that right foot with your left hand. We're going to start off with that open tree pose. Now, remember with all these exercises, don't try to go past your limit, right? In order to restore the body, we got to train safely. Go ahead and find that balance and maintain this position. Remember to keep breathing throughout these entire stretches. You want to focus on locking out your leg and make sure your glutes are squeezed through this entire motion. Go ahead and switch, shake it out. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab that left foot with that right hand. Now find your balance and maintain this position. Remember to go at your strengths, right? So if you can go higher than this, go higher. Remember, you don't want to feel any pain with any of these stretches. No pain at all. If you fall down, go ahead and reset and just continue where you left off. All right, now we're doing C raises. So we're going to go ahead and raise that knee to the side. We want our bottom leg nice and locked out. Go ahead and raise that knee up high as you can to the side while maintaining your hips are squared and your shoulders are squared too. Nice and easy. Just loosening up those hips, loosening up those hips, getting ready for this deep stretching we're about to do. Now we're gonna go ahead and do Hip circles forward from a standing position. Really try to work that range of motion, right? But don't overdo it. Remember, this is just the warm up to the stretch. We're priming our muscles, getting everything ready to go. Now go ahead and work that reverse, reverse motion as well. Once again, our hips and our shoulders are squared. All right, so go ahead and go to a seated position. Now we're doing our windshield wipers. So remember, all the hips are doing the work, right? So as you can see, my shoulders are still squared to the screen. The only thing that we're moving is our hips, right? Really work those hips, nice and easy pace. If you need to slow it down, feel free to slow it down. As always, we train at our own pace. You know your body more than I do. Now we're gonna go ahead and go these 90-90 stretches now. So we're gonna hold these stretches for about anywhere between three to five seconds. Nice deep stretch. Then go ahead and windshield riper and rotate to the other side. Remember to focus on your breathing. One thing we don't want to do whenever we're stretching or doing any type of mobility work is hold our breath because it will actually do the reverse effect and actually cause our muscles to be even more tense and tight. So the more we breathe, the more looser our muscles will get, the more our hips and all the ligaments and joints will start to open up. Good, now we're gonna go into a kneeling position, starting our fire hydrants. Nice and easy. Everything nice and controlled. No upper body movement, stabilize that lower body. The only thing is moving is that knee high and out to the side. Remember, if you can't, if your knee can't go that high, go at your own pace. Now 
now we're doing our straight leg extension sit back. So what we wanna do is have that left leg nice and locked out straight, toes pointing forward. We wanna sit back to the heels. Now remember, don't force this range of motion. This is the last thing we wanna do because this is really gonna work the growing area as you can see. And as you can see, I mixed it up. Now I'm lifting my toe up to the sky. So feel free to play around with the movement, but go to your range of motion and return back to the starting point. Don't try to push past it. Now we're gonna do the same thing, opposite side. Same exact movement. So as you can see, I'm easing my way into these stretches before I start really committing to these stretches. Just to make sure my muscles are nice and warmed up. Now I'm starting to sit back more into it, raising my toe to the sky with the sit back. If you can't sit back, feel free to just stay in the start position with your leg extended. Now we're going into our kneeling hip flexor stretch. So this is another drill where you don't want to work, overwork these hip drills, right? So go to your position to where you feel the stretch and slowly return back to the starting point. Now what you want to do is Make sure that right glute is engaged, right? Make sure your glutes are engaged because that is how we get the most stretch out of these hip flexors. So as you can see, my left knee is down now. So I really want to engage that left glute to really get that stretch in that left hip, in that left hip flexors. Now I'm mixing it up. Kneeling hip flexor with the straight leg sit back. We're working our hip flexors. The sit back is great for our hamstrings, right? Just opening up the body, getting nice and warm, ready to go to get these deep stretches. Now I'm doing the same thing to the other side. Now we're going into the stretch called the world's greatest stretch. So what we want to do is bring that elbow down right inside that knee, get as low as we can to the floor and rotate our upper torso, eyes to sky, following our hand. Take your time with this drill, slowly increase your range of motion, rep by rep. Good, eyes to the sky. Make sure that torso follows. And you try to increase your range of motion after each and every rep. I'm doing this from a circular motion now, so the same thing. Now I'm just rotating, you know, these hip circles in the same position, nice and easy. Small circles, right? The small circles to the right and to the left. So make sure you're rotating. Now we're gonna do those laying cross knees. So we're starting off with the left leg. You wanna sit in there nice and deep. Now, if you can't get all the way down to the floor, feel free to have your torso upright and increase your range of motion from there. 
nice and easy. You want the body to re be relaxed. Remember to breathe. Doing the same exact thing on the opposite leg now. All right, now we're gonna open our legs and reach over, torso upright, hands follow. So this is really gonna work the inside of our groin area right here and a little bit of the hamstrings as well, but it's really gonna work our inner legs, our inner thighs right here. So take your time with this, slowly increase your range of motion, each and every rep. Nice, now we're gonna go ahead down and laying flat on our back. Go ahead and bring that right leg up, slowly back down. So we're doing our straight leg raises, right leg fully extended, leg locked out. Bring it all the way up, all the way down in a nice controlled slow motion. Go ahead and do, repeat the same exact thing on the opposite leg. Now we're going to lay back, arms out to the side, our open butterfly position. Bring your heels up, slowly let both knees fall out to the side and let gravity do does its work. So don't try to force your knees out. Just let gravity take your knees out and relax the body. Remember to breathe. Good, now we're gonna put that right ankle over that left knee and hug that knee. Remember to pull the knee at your own range of motion, right? So if you can pull it all the way to your chest, feel free to do so. As you can see what I'm doing now, I'm doing small circles in and out, along with still keeping my knee hugged to my chest to really work those hip joints. Nice and easy, nice and easy. When it comes to stretching, you wanna be patient. And you wanna let your body do the work, right? So you gotta listen to your body and go as far as your body will let you. We're repeating the same thing on the opposite side. Make sure you're breathing throughout all of these stretches. Small circles going in, small circles going out. While maintaining that position, you wanna grab just below your knee while doing these exercises. Now we're gonna rotate, grabbing each knee. Make sure our torso and our back is flat to the ground. Our opposite leg is extended. Go ahead and reach for that knee just below the knees and pull up as high as you can.
Good, now we're gonna hit that open frog pose. So we're gonna go ahead, kneeling position, bring those knees out as far as you can, slowly lean forward. And this is another drill where you don't wanna push it, right? Because this will really injure you if you go past your limit. So make sure you find that happy medium place where you feel a good stretch, but it's not painful. And relax and breathe. Now to come out of this position, you wanna lean forward all the way down, chest hits the ground and come up. Now we're doing our hip circles forward. Once again, our spine is neutral, core is engaged, doing those hip circles forward on both sides. Really increase that range of motion. We're loosening up those hips. This is, not, this is how we loosen our hips. And not only that, this is how we strengthen our hips. So treat these stretches just like a workout. Every rep counts. Now we're doing our single leg extensions to the side. Notice how my body is maintaining the still position. My upper body and my lower body is not moving. The only thing that's moving is the leg that's supposed to go out to the side. So really squeeze and engage that core to help you complete this drill. Notice my leg is nice and locked out. That's the only thing that's moving is my leg. All right guys, so there you have it. That is your lower body hip mobility and stretching routine. I appreciate all you guys. Let's keep putting in the work. That is the most important thing. As much as we train, we also have to take care of our stretching and recovery as well. So make sure you do this at least once a day. Focus on the hips. Go check out my other videos. Other than that, let's keep working hard. And as always, let's dominate the day.